In today's good travel, we are ready to travel indeed. Yes. You know, I have actually been to Paris and New York City. You're so lucky. I kind of feel blessed, but I wish <laughs> I had had these amazing travel books because I think it would have made my journeys absolutely a whole lot better. Today we are talking about how travel guides can make all the difference in the world. And joining us from London today is Georgina D. Welcome to Good Day Live, Georgina. Hello, thank you for having me. Georgina, when travelers pick up these books, what can they discover? What can they find? Well, they can discover beautiful photography to get them excited about their trip. Uh, lots of insider tips, lots of information about where they want to go, what they might want to see. We have beautiful maps in our guides. We have in-house cartographers who are experts in their craft and uh, create beautiful maps for uh, every point in your journey. Um, and really what we want our guides to be is to give you those additional things in your trip that you weren't necessarily expecting, but really make the stories when you tell everybody when you get home. You know, I feel like a book like this can help people really plan, but at the same time, if you take these along, they do a good job at finding some of the hot spots mm. in today's cities. Exactly. It's really, you know, the, we wanted to give something that you can do both with. You know, the planning side of it is obviously really important. We offer itineraries, so suggestion, suggestions for a day in a place or two weeks, dependent on the kind of destination, or three days. But also, as you say, when you're there and, um, you know, there's something you want to do that afternoon and you haven't decided what to do and you're sitting in a cafe watching the world go by, it's a lovely experience to flick through the book and decide together what it is you're going to do that afternoon. And that's what we'd like those books to be as well. Well, I love is the size, too, because you could just travel and basically take them with you. I mean, that was the idea, correct? <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. And um, travel guides in the past have been, you know, sometimes can be a bit heavy and we've really reduced the weight so that they're very practical um, but also beautiful at the same time. And I think also when you get home that there's something you want to keep on your bookshelf as a memento for the trip, something physical that you've got in your home that reminds you of where you went and the amazing experience that you had. And I think too, even if someone isn't planning on going to one of these cities, say, in the near future, these are books that could make great gifts for someone who's always wanted to go to these cities because the pictures, as you mentioned, and the tips are just incredible. Absolutely, and I think the, the armchair, armchair traveler is a really important part of it, and, and dreaming about going to these places is, is, um, is something that we would love people to do with our books. We've tried to get photography that you can really be, get inspired by, um, and also I think because they're beautiful objects in and of themselves, it's something to keep and, and flick through. The other thing is we have some great history of the destination, so you can really learn about what makes that destination unique. 